gives this woman to this man. Everyone, please be seated. We're going to take a moment and pray before the ceremony. Lord, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for everyone that's come together, Lord. I just pray over Kate and Grant, Lord, just blessings today, Lord, and joy, Lord. I pray um, just health and safety over everyone, Lord. And I just pray over Grant, God, that you would just be the light to his steps, Lord, as he um, takes Kate as his wife and Erilyn as his daughter, Lord, and becomes the man that you've called him to be to lead this family. And we just thank you and we love you, Lord. Amen. All right. Family and friends, we have been invited here today to share with Kate and Grant a very important moment in their lives. Their journey began with a swipe, a like, and a hike. For these two <laughs> For these two people in the routine of ordinary life, the extraordinary has happened. They found each other, they met, and they fell in love. In the time they have been together, their love and understanding of each other has grown and matured, and now they have committed to live their lives together as husband and wife. This is what we celebrate today, and they thank you for being here and sharing in this day with them. The joining of two people in marriage is a time for rejoicing, but it is also a time for sober thought. When God created the first man, he also created the first woman for the purpose of marriage. Jesus, speaking about the sanctity of marriage, said, Haven't you read at the beginning the Creator made them male and female, and said, For this reason, a man will leave his, his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two but one. Therefore, whatever God has joined together, let man not separate. Today, Kate and Grant stand before God with us as their witnesses to make their pledge of lifelong love, eternal friendship, and committed devotion. There is an art and a skill to marriage. A good marriage must be built and maintained. This requires that we give thoughtfulness to the little things as well as the big things that are the closeness in matrimony, that we develop the capacity and the grace to forgive and forget, to heal the quarrels as they happen, say I love you and speak words of appreciation often. Do not come to take each other for granted and be sure to demonstrate your gratitude for each other in thoughtful ways. Laugh together often and flirt with each other always. Never grow too old to hold hands. Do not expect perfection of each other. Perfection is only for God. Make this journey of life a beautiful journey you share together. A good marriage evolves when two separate souls face life's pleasures and sadness in harmony, not in unison. Galatians 5, 23 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Kate and Grant, I charge both of you before God, to remember that love and loyalty alone will make this foundation a happy home. If the solemn vows which you are about to make are kept unviolated, and if you steadfastly endeavor to the right things for each other and your children, your life will be full of joy, and the, I'm gonna cry, and the, <laughs> and the home which you are establishing will abide in peace. Uh, no other human ties are more tender and no other vows are more sacred than the ones in which you are about to make. You can read your vows to Grant. I already know I'm going to cry. <laughs> Grant. We finally made it. <laughs> At the beginning of this year, as I counted down the days to be your wife the first time, I had no idea that over 
The next few months, we would go on a journey, a journey that would see us through sickness and health. It would see us through good times and not so good, through better and through worse. A journey that brought us right here to this moment where we get to be surrounded by love and God and family. Back in March, we read our vows and exchanged rings and in our hearts, we were joined. Our love has been tested this year and I have never been more convinced that you are my soul's perfect mate, my missing puzzle piece. I can't promise that things will be perfect, that there won't be tough times, but I can swear to always love you, to always be there for you when you need me and when you don't know that you need me, to support you in all your endeavors and growth through sickness and in health, through good times and not so good, through better and worse, until the room grows dark forever. Kate, from the moment I laid eyes on you, I thought you were the most beautiful girl that I've ever seen. Kate has a smile that could light up a room. There's no one I know who is as smart, caring, or illuminating as you. I'm the lucky one. When we first started talking, I was so amazed of who you are, not only as a professional at your job, but how lovely of a person you are. It was our first date, was to be a date for only a few hours, end up lasting late into the night. You asked me when we should see each other again, and I asked you, how about tomorrow? We've, I've been crazy about you ever since. I'm glad you accepted. On that second date, the next day, I took you to Pina Dobie in Vacaville. We climbed up a hill, and as we looked over the lake, under the shade of a tree, we shared our stories and spilled our hearts to each other. It, we could have spent all day there, if it weren't for a movie that we planned earlier. But after that movie, uh, and talking for more hours, it dropped you off. And as I was going home, I didn't make it home before I pulled over and called you. We both deleted our dating apps that we were using to find each other, but we didn't need them anymore. <laughs> I knew my prayers had been answered. That day was June 10th, 2018, uh, 916 days ago. <laughs> Half past. Our love has been growing ever since. Even though this last year has been very tough, I'm glad to spend it with you. We faced trials and our love tested. And after this, all this year's thrown at us, we finally made it to this spot. I am blessed to be here with you. I promise to give you my best, to give you all of my love. I promise to cheer you up and cheer you on, to let you fight your own battles but be close enough to tag team in. I promise to grow with you and to strengthen our hearts. You have my promise to always be by your side. Kate, you are my soulmate and my best friend. Today, I'm proud and fortunate to be able to call you my wife. I love you, Kate. Do you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband, promising before God with your family and friends as witnesses that you will be faithful to him, a loving and devoted wife, that you will honor and love him and remain with him in sickness and in health, in prosperity and in adversity, and forsaking all others, keep yourself to him and only him as long as you both shall live? I do. Grant. Do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife, promising before God with your family and friends as witnesses that you will be to her a faithful, loving, and devoted husband, that you will honor and love her and remain with her in sickness and in health, in prosperity and in adversity, and forsaking all others, keep yourself to her and only her as long as you both shall live? I do. Do we have the answer?
you have chosen to exchange rings. Rings are made of precious metals and precious stones, signifying the precious commitment and love you have for one another. Rings are circular with no ending, just like your lifelong marriage should be without end. The wedding ring is an outward visible sign of an inward and spiritual commitment signifying your commitment to one another in holy matrimony through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Kate, repeat after me as you place the ring on Grant's finger. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, and pledge to you, and pledge to you, my love and constant faithfulness, my love and constant faithfulness. Grant, place your ring. Grant, repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I be wed, I be wed, and pledge to you my love, pledge to you my love, and constant faithfulness, and constant faithfulness. For as much as you have consented together in a holy matrimony and have witnessed the same before God, family, and friends, by the power vested in me by the state of California, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Grant, you may kiss your bride.